Now this judge, Rachel Cross, like I said, she worked for the Fulton County judge uh, up in there with him. And Glanville is higher than her. He's the chief judge. So what you think she gonna do to her boss? You think they not having conversations off the record like everybody else? They all work together, bro. You think somebody on the same team is going to do something to benefit the other team? They still in the same building. She still got to go back there. Man, listen, bro. Kayla, girl. And then she, like, with, with the hair and I even this whole ex parte thing, like them still decided she gonna sit there and say that she wasn't the initial leak. Somebody else was in the, the leak. Somebody else gave the nudge. And then she go, yeah, but I did go sit down with the defense and give them legal advice. What? Oh, man. So I gave him legal advice from the perspective as a def defense attorney. Okay. Okay, Kayla. Didn't the judge ask you that? Then he asked, was it you? <laughs> I'm YouTube clicks to get you, boy. And then she says, Brian stealing them. They wouldn't have had that information about that secret million if it wasn't for her. I'm like, did you just really admit that? Did you really just admit that? After, after Glanville asked you that, you just sat there and say, yeah, and she bragging about it. Yeah, and the defense wouldn't even got that information if I didn't give it to them. Okay. Okay. You just admitted it. Yeah, somebody gave him a little nudge, but you just admitted that they wouldn't have that information if it wasn't for you. What are you thinking, shorty? What are you thinking, shorty? You you getting yourself in a world of trouble, boy. And you may not think it, but you'll see. And then she goes on further to say, Oh, and I'm going to say something that I didn't say before. Okay, Kayla. You going to make another statement, Kayla? Yeah. When I got to court that day to go talk to Woody, the prosecutor she wouldn't let me talk to him. They were saying I wasn't his lawyer. I wasn't representing him. And they wouldn't let me talk to him that whole morning. And the only way I got to say something was when we was in court. That's why I wasn't sitting over there next to them or nothing. And if it wasn't for Woody saying, yo, I'm not doing nothing until I speak to Kayla. Uh, 
uh, I wouldn't have been able to talk to Woody because the prosecution is loving him. They wouldn't let me talk to him. Do you understand that the prosecution, the prosecutors cannot do that? You know how fucking wrong that is the, 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 for the prosecution to police uh, 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 to police uh, a witness from their lawyer or a lawyer and a lawyer uh, client privilege the, 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 the prosecution is stopping that and she just told that they didn't know that in the case before you don't think Brian Steele and them is going to use that You stop Woody from having his fucking lawyer, bro. Oh, she just ratted them out. Yo, she just ratted Miss Loving them out on YouTube. Yeah, they wouldn't let me talk to him the whole morning. And I kept asking why I can't talk to him, why I can't talk to him. And that's all, that's that whole blow up we saw in the courtroom. That was because they wouldn't let uh, Kayla Bumpers represent Woody. They was trying to keep her away from it. They wouldn't let her talk to Woody. And that's how that whole ex parte thing started. And she just revealed that. You know Brian Steele and them, they like, up, oh, add some another motion. Add another motion. Watch. Let, let this thing continue. Watch. The prosecution, they going to be in big trouble when it comes to that one. Let Brian Steele and them bring that up in court that uh, they saw Caleb Bumpers on YouTube stating that the prosecutor wouldn't let Woody have his, his uh, defense. Oh! Oh! That mistrial, they they gonna get a mistrial for that. That nigga Woody let that girl hang herself. <laughs> she was trying to get Woody to answer them questions. That nigga Woody was like. Oh, you think who you think you Miss Hilton? Like, girl, get out of here. They gonna add add her to the Rico. That's I don't know if that's possible.
But if it, if it is possible, yeah, hell yeah, they will. Because now she's looking like she's an inside source for them. Like she's uh, uh, she's relaying information from the, the witness and the, the, and the defendant. Which definitely got the prosecution like, oh, we can't even trust her. And the interesting thing is, Miss Love was her supervisor. Like Ms. or, or Miss Hilton, one or the other, but they all work together. And this being Atlanta, they could have probably did more than work together. You know how they give it up out here. I'm telling y'all, that girl Kayla, watch. She bumped her head, bro. Trust me when I tell you. You best believe. You're going to see. Her YouTube video in that courtroom. Watch what I tell you. She's either going to get impeached or or if Judge Glanville come back, she doing them jail. She going to jail. She Well, you know what? I don't know. I think he, I don't even think he dismissed her case yet. Yeah, her, she's not out the water yet. She is definitely not out the water yet. But uh, they going, I'm telling you, they watching. They definitely watching. They gonna stick it to her ass. Pause. Yeah, you right about a mistrial. If this ain't a mistrial, I don't know what is. This definitely calls for a mistrial. This girl's over here on YouTube with the goddamn witness while the trial's going on and shit is in litigation. And she on the joint with the, the goddamn witness asking him about the case. <laughs> then told him, yo, put green hearts on the screen. Yo, my nigga. This girl is not thinking. Put green hearts on the screen for Woody. Oh my God, bro. They're about to dig in her background, see if she gang related. Put green hearts on the screen for Woody. Woody like, no. Fuck you mean green hearts, girl, you crazy? That's slime life. That's slime love. Hey, yo, you ain't, yo, man. Yo, if you didn't see it, I recommend you go watch it because you like it's comedy, man. This is this got to be. If you ain't in, 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 in law and in criminal law, this got to be the most hilarious shit in the world to you to see her do this. While the trial's going on and things are in litigation, she asks the witness that's on stand right now, under oath, still sworn under oath, is he still testifying? Is everything in the transcripts ripped? Yo, she cannot be, yo, she, yo, my nigga, bro. Watch how this turn out for Kayla. Watch. Choke no joke. I'll be back later. One. 